Greetings, brothers and sisters. We thank the one God for his divine wisdom and his perfect <clears throat> and infallible understanding of all things. We thank him for his divine wisdom. We thank him for being the one true living God, Lord of heaven and earth. God Almighty is the true sender of all holy prophets and of all holy apostles. He alone is God and there's none with him, there's none besides him, and there's none before him. We thank him today for giving us a privilege of mercy, bringing us into another year as an act of mercy. One scripture says, not by works of righteousness that we have done, but by his mercy, he saved us. And this is why we all here today, you that are watching, you're watching the greatest religious program in America. It is the most outspoken. We labor to preach nothing else but what God have in the scriptures. Amen. The scriptures is our interest. The scriptures is our tool. The scriptures is our guideline. Without the scriptures, then we are a lost people. Amen. It looks beautiful to see so many here this afternoon. And to you that are watching uh, in the different locations that are not here, you that are listening, whether it's in Africa or Canada or throughout the South Pacific and across the Atlantic, the truth of God is your church. Hmm. You don't even have to go to church if you're not getting the right thing nohow. That's right. Let the telecast be your church. Amen. You don't have to give a dime to hear the message. It comes into your living room, your office. It comes in your preacher's house, free of charge. Amen. In fact, you to teach them how to preach. <laughs> Amen. And to let them know what to preach and what not to preach. That's right. If you are a viewer of this program, I want to warn you. You will suffer an addiction. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, you will come addicted to it. That's right. You know, there's some things is worth to be addicted to. It. And there's some things addiction is just not helpful. That's right. <laughs> but I want to tell everyone that are here and you that are watching. The truth of God is very addictive. They have addicted themselves. Do you hear this? In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 15. 1 Corinthians 16, 15 says. And they have addicted they themselves. They have addicted themselves. To the ministry of the saints. Do you hear that? Amen. You're watching a gospel addict today. That's right. I'm a gospel preaching addict. Amen. Not out of control. No. I have a controllable addiction. That's right. I feel as though I can't get enough of the truth of God. That's right. I'm always shooting up. <laughs> if you can't find me, rest assured you I'm somewhere high as a spiritual kite. That's right. Amen. Amen. Shooting up. <coughs> Got some real heavenly stuff to give you. Very potent. Oh, yes. Not integrated with nothing carnal. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All pure premium stuff. Amen. Full of the spirit of God. Uncut. That's right. <coughs> not diluted. Mm. Not mixed. Not watered down. 
We want to give you the full strength of it. That's right. <clears throat> so strong until you are run out of your church. <laughs> That's right. To you that are watching in Selma, Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama, Birmingham, Charleston, Charleston South Carolina, Memphis, Tennessee, throughout the Midwest on the West Coast, you that are listening tonight in Sierra Leone, West Africa, you that are watching in Germany, you that are watching and listening in Pakistan and Afghanistan, we want you to make your calling and election sure. That's right. Or one scripture talks about it compares your righteousness to that of filthy rags. The apostle teaches us not by works of righteousness that we have done. That's right. But it's by God's mercy he saved us. It's a beautiful feeling to know that you're not on a journey to hell. Amen. But regardless, I must respect the devil. Someone say, I don't respect the devil. Well, anytime he can bring sin in heaven. Yeah. Anytime he can cause a whole third of angels backslide anytime he can make angels commit treason and turn against God I got to respect that power for its capability in maneuvering tricking conning and deceiving if he can do this to spirits what do you think he can do to flesh? That's right. These spirits did not strive to be holy. No. These angels were created holy from the very day God brought them into being. That's right. So to you that go to churches and are lied to by your pastor, and we are told the devil don't have no power. Right. Then why are you praying? That's right. Who got you running to Jesus? That's right. Who got you running to Jesus, brother? Talk back to me. Who got you fighting for your life? Who's tempting you to go back in the world? Who's resurrecting that past taste of alcohol in your gut? Yeah. Who wants you to turn against God? Yeah. Who don't want you in the church? Yeah. Who wants you to hate God? Yeah. And you mean to tell me he don't have no power? That's power. To take a spirit that was flawless. That's right. The angels of heaven, when they were created, they had no flaws. They were perfect. But in one, iniquity was found. That's right. And I saw your need is the devil to get in one. That's one. Because when the devil get in one, then it starts spreading. That's right. Mm -hmm. It starts spreading. Mm -hmm. When it starts spreading, you see that virus go airborne. Yeah. Thank God. And when you get one unbeliever, that unbelief go airborne and start going to another. That's right. Then go to another. And the very thing you used to uphold, now you denounce. That's true. This is why churches are in the condition that they're in. Mm -hmm. Many of them stood for God. Many of them believed in God's word. But a virus 
went airborne. That's right. Brought by the prince of the power of the air. That's right. Start contaminating the pulpit. That's right. And when the virus sets in the pulpit, then they start going airborne through words. Right. And people catch the virus and believe the message of lies. That's right. And that message starts to convert the sincere hearts to foolish hearts. That's true. It converts the strong to weak. Amen. It converts those that love God into haters of God. That's right. So now the congregation of the living becomes the congregation of the dead. Amen. Satan is a spirit that moves those that are driven forward, backward. Yeah. I'm determined, brothers and sisters, not to be driven backward by the forces of hell. That's right. By all means. Someone says something to get you. Something already got me. That's what got me driven. Amen. You know, in the army, you got to be a good soldier. Oh, yes. And you got to be able to adapt to different climates, different living conditions. Mm -hmm. But if you're driven mm -hmm. and you refuse to surrender to the enemy, yeah. there's some fight in you. Some fight. That's right. We all got to fight the enemy. That's right. Are you listening to me? Amen. Everybody must fight the enemy. Oh, yes. But the enemy objective is to exhaust you. Mm -hmm. You get a person who's exhausted while they're fighting, they don't fight as strong. Right. So the enemy exhausts you mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, and therefore you're no longer motivated like you used to to get that devil off your back. That's right. That's right. But in the midst of the fight, you got to have some vigilance. Oh, yes. Jacob, when he wrestled with God, he said, I won't let you go. Mm -hmm. It was a wrestling match. Yes, it was. Hold for hold. Right. Mm -hmm. Jacob wanted something, and God wanted to give it to him. Mm -hmm. But God wanted him to fight for it. Fight for it. That's right. Huh? That's right. Glory to God. To stay with God, you got to fight for it. To fight. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Fight. Paul said, I fought. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. A good fight. Mm -hmm. Then he said, I kept the faith. Mm -hmm. See, fight and faith go together. Right. Because you can be in a fight so long, you lose faith. That's true. What keeps you in the fight or motivates you to fight is your faith. That's right. That's true. My faith keeps me in the arena. I God, sometimes the devil may hit me, knock me down, and then I can see him trying to count. That's right. Thank God that my foot is on the rope. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go ahead. You know in wrestling, in wrestling, the objective is pin your shoulder down. Right. One. Yeah. Two. For you know it, kick out. That's right. That's right. The devil objective is is to pin your mind, soul, body, and spirit to the canvas. Oh, yeah. Glory to God when you hear him standing over you counting. Mm -hmm. 
He's rejoicing in the condition he got you in. Right. He's rejoicing in the state of mind he got you in. That's right. You got to kick out, and the way you kick out, you got to pray out or fast out. Go ahead, you got man. to fight out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? You, you get tired of the wrestling match. Yes. Thank God if the bell ring, I want God to be holding my arms up as the winner. That's right. Yeah. That's right. No sense of quitting. No, no. Should be in the bowels of a child of God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look how hard you worked for the devil. That's true. Look how loyal you was to the devil. That's right. And what did you get in return from the devil but pain, hurt, yeah. lies? Oh, yes. That's all the devil gave us. That's right. Go ahead, brother. So now. I have to fight, fight my enemy. Fight. That's right. When the apostles carried this message, the government of their time constantly threatened them. Oh, yeah. Did we not straightly command you mm. not to preach in that name? Right. He was talking to a group of fighters. That's right. They had the best coach. Go ahead. Jesus was their trainer. That's right. Mm. Go ahead. The angel of the Lord came. Yeah. Delivered them out of prison and told them, go in the temple. Yeah. And Tell the people all the words of this life. Right. You don't read where the apostle said, but wait a minute. They, they told us not to do it. He said, go. Go. Go back in the fire. That's right. You can't be a scared child of God go ahead, and serve go him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You have to be a warrior yes. to walk with God. That's right. We are in a war. Yes, mm. You are warring against Satan and spiritual wickedness in high places. That's right. Hallelujah. You got to have that war instincts. Go ahead, brother. Are you listening to the old man? Go ahead. Go ahead. Regardless of how exhausted I get, <laughs> the devil is not going to make me leave my trainer. That's right. God is my trainer. Amen. And I'm still in training camp. See, with God as your trainer, you never get to the point you know all. No. Uh, you better stay with the coach. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Why? Because the devil's getting sharper and sharper. Yeah. And if you stay with God, he keep you on top of things. Amen. Oh, yeah. Go, ahead. Go ahead. This year, make 28 years. We've been leading the people of God. Yeah. 28 years. Yeah. We have fought the devil oh, yeah. it seemed like on every battlefront mm -hmm. he have tried everything through people yeah. but we stayed on the battlefield the devil many times thought he had us mm -hmm. but when he looked it mm -hmm. was not so that's right The devil tried to put us in one hole. Yeah. Failed to realize that my coach.
taught me how to counter that hold. Amen. In God, it is survival. Yes. It is not how loud you talk. No. How much you shake. Oh, no. How long you shout. And how much you say. That's right. Jesus said, He that endures to the end. That's it. The same, hallelujah. That's right. Shall be saved. Amen. Amen. This message of holiness hmm. to you that are here and you that are watching, there is absolutely no message on earth that is correct unless it's holy that's right god is holy holy you gotta get it out your mind that church is a form of pastime right pastime is sin yes god ain't pastime no church should be your life that's right talk back to me Serving God, you want it to be your life. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nothing should be able to compete with God. Right. Absolutely nothing. That's right. I listen to the old man. Amen.